if you have somebody in your brokerage or something who uh, who has that mentality, right? What you would call creative avoidance. How do you confront them on that? Like, do you say, "Oh, you've got the wrong mindset," or do you treat it like just another objection and 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 respond with an agreeable acknowledgement and uh, so on and so forth? Yeah, always, always go Socratic. So if we role played it, right? So so give me something like a real estate agent will obsess over the way their business cards look and feel. So let's pretend that's the deal with you. Mm-hmm. So I would say, well, well uh, obviously I, I would agree, Ryan, your business cards, you know, they are important. I guess my question for you is let's pretend for a minute you had your business cards right now. Are you suggesting that once the business cards are done, they're designed that now your sales will uh, explode? Well, yeah, I mean, that's, it's going to help. I mean, that's what I was kind of hoping would happen. Yeah. So tell me what would be different. Pretend you have a box that you got from Moo and it was all, they were beautiful. They were the right texture. They were all really sexy. Tell me what would you be doing differently once you get those cards in the mail that you're not doing now? Well, um, you know, when I would meet with prospective clients. Well, one uh, second. So, uh, you know, so, so I, I go down that line of questioning with them, right? So, okay, let's pretend for a second. You show up at your house tonight and you got the box, right? You're all excited. Like, oh, those got to be the new business cards from Vistaprint. What changes the next day? You know what I mean? Like what activities are you going to be involved in uh, that you can't do without those cards now? And the agent, they start to get it, right? They're like, man, yeah. that's a freaking good point. So I'll, I always just go Socratic method, have them come up with their own solution. And it's not the business card that's getting in the way. It's the fact that we're not looking in the mirror and being honest that, you know, we're not out there. We're not prospecting. The business card makes no difference. Uh, and, and I always give this. I say, I make the argument that you shouldn't have a business card. Now, tell me, Ryan, why you think I would tell you that? Why, why do you think I would give you that advice? Um, because of its relative importance when you compare it with prospecting. I mean, uh, when you ask the question, well, now that you have the business cards, what are you going to do? It puts it right back into the, well, I'm going to hand them out to prospective clients. Well, well, where are you going to meet the prospective clients? Well, you know? 100%, but let's go literal. So I give the advice all the time when it comes to business cards with realtors. And I make the argument that they should not have business cards at all. Well, I'm I'm curious why you think I give that advice. Well, yeah, I think it's because uh, it's a distraction. It's, it's, it's just a, it's like, you know, it's like a red herring. I don't know if you're familiar with that. Yeah. Let me give you the tactic. Like, so this is for all the analyticals, the people that are literal, right? I give the advice not to carry business cards because in a situation where someone says, hey, uh, do you have a business card on you? You give them the business card. What do you think they do with that business card more times than not? Get rid of it as soon as possible. That's exactly right. So wouldn't it make more sense that you respond to that to say, you know what? I actually, I I ran out of business cards. Why don't I do this? What's your cell phone? What's your email? I'll send you all of my contact information. Ding, 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 ding. Now we've generated a lead. And so therefore having the business card actually hurts your business uh, where so many people for decades think that it was helping. Why doesn't everybody understand that? Well, because, you know, they want to, they want to stay in creative avoidance. I mean, you start taking these things away from them. What's left to do? The work, the work. Yeah. Yeah. So we can't have that. You know, we've got to keep creating things to do so that we can avoid the work at all costs. Does that make sense? Yes.